everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, it gets yourself and your question featured in an upcoming video. I do my best to reply like, in text so that you get a response as quickly as possible. Uh, but then if you wait another week or so, you'll actually get a full blown video. Today, I'm asking a question from Cordy O'Neill about the Apex DSX dive computer. Corley says, hi Mark, just wondering if you will be doing a video on the new Apex dive computer. What are your thoughts on it and will it pair with a shearwater transmitter? Thanks again for all the information you constantly provide the community. You're welcome. Yes, I am waiting for a marketing sample of the new Apex DSX dive computer. The very first batch was all sent out directly to dealers. So I, I can't get my hands on one quite yet without actually buying one but we are planning a dive with Apex as soon as possible uh, but for those of you who don't know the DSX is a color screen dive computer with a few tricks up its sleeve if you um, if you just, just kind of look at it and you kind of squint your eyes you would like mistake it for a Shearwater Perdix or maybe a, a Petrol, which isn't a bad thing. It's a, it's a large screen dive computer. You've got a, I believe, three button user interface. Um, and yeah, it ticks a lot of boxes. It's more aimed at the technical diver. Uh, it's quite an expensive upper tier dive computer. It's not something that you'll like start your scuba diving journey with. It's more of something that you'll you'll invest in as you start to go into like deeper diving. But one nice thing that's quite cool is that it comes with a oxygen analyzer uh, mechanism. It doesn't come with the actual cell because the oxygen cells that you get in um, uh, oxygen analyzers, they, they have shelf lives. So th they're not going to send it with a uh, an O2 cell. You're going to have to buy one of those, but they're readily available all over the place. Um, and you can plug that into your dive computer, and then you can test your cylinder, and it uploads it straight into your dive computer, which I think is pretty handy and pretty cool. Um, instead of having to analyze it and then go into the settings of the menu and go into your dive computer and then actually set it or do it on your phone and then pair it, uh, this it just plug it in, scan it, done, done done go diving um, so I think that's pretty cool and fairly niche I don't think I've seen that on uh, many if any uh, dive computers out there your other question was will it pair with a shearwater transmitter it should do um, I, I'll, I'll have to um, I'll have to actually physically test this um, because it's one of those definite maybes because so I think we're how to explain this. The heritage of the um, of the Shearwater and the Apex transmitters goes back to Pelagic, uh, which was started by Bob Hollis. Bob Hollis of Hollis and Oceanic. Um, he started uh, American Underwater Products, uh, Oceanic, and um, and yeah, Pelagic. Pelagic were focused more on like the dive computer technical side of things. They produced. Um, like wireless air transmitters. They produced them for oceanic dive computers. They also produced them for um, sheer water. And then when Pelagic was bought by Aqualung Group, or the Aqualung Group, uh, now Aqualung transmitters are effectively Pelagic, and Apex is part of the Aqualung Group. So it's one of those, it should connect, um, but I do just have to double check um, because I can't, promise mainly because Shearwater since have brought out their Shearwater Swift uh, which is a new transmitter works slightly differently um, it's more of a two-way communication thing um, but in the actual Swift manual it says that it sh should connect with other brands they're never going to promise it because there's going to be an instance where either eventually down the line it doesn't or whatever it is always like mm, yeah it should connect so um, yeah I wouldn't worry too much about it connecting but um, yeah if you have like a, a shearwater transmitter then it's best to pair it with a shearwater computer um, but yes uh, I am in talks with uh, with Apex um, they um, the the very first batch all of the uh, the DSX dive computers because it was kind of behind the scenes. Everyone kind of knew that this thing was coming out. So all of the dealers just bought them all 
um, as, as soon as they were available. So there were none like set aside for like a marketing copy by the sounds of it. Um, but yeah, we are in talks with um, with one of the guys from uh, from Apex, and he said that as soon as he gets one, he'll invite us for a, for a dive. So um, so like myself and Mark, we can. We can test it out underwater and uh, and see how it ticks. But I'll also do a uh, an unboxing video so I can show you like real close ups of the uh, of the DSX uh, as as soon as I can get my grubby little hands on one. Now, if you have any particular questions about the uh, the DSX that you'd like me to find out or answer for you, uh, then by all means pop them down in the uh, in the comment section below, and I'll, I'll do my best to um, to light a fire under Apex to find out those answers uh, if I don't know them myself. But uh, yeah, otherwise, if you've got any uh, general scuba diving questions, pop them underneath this video in the comment section. Use that Ask Mark hashtag that way you get featured in the upcoming show. Uh, remember to head over to scubadivermag.com. Come on, our, um, our website, check out our magazine. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.